Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is do child's pose. Now, if you have pillows like I have, and it could just be whatever kind of pillows you've got, something that you could lay out on, or if you don't have pillows, you can just go to child's pose. Uh, I'm gonna use these pillows because we're gonna stay here for a little bit longer today. And again, like I said, a little bit of this is gonna be a little bit more restorative. So that's what we're gonna do right here. Uh, so open up your knees and you're just gonna drop it through and stretch your arms out. Or you can even take your arms to the side and turn your head to the side and just go to child's pose and relax here. Remember, just we're gonna spend some time here, so just relax and like I said, get comfortable where, whichever way your arms work best, out front, to the side, turn your head, keep your head straight, whatever works best for you, we're just gonna relax. So just stretch it out and relax here for the first part of the class. Remember to deepen your breath and just relax and sink further. Just let, let your body open through the breath. Then you're going to slowly release and move the pillows out of the way for now. And then from here, we're going to take it up and back into a downward facing dog. So just dig your toes in the mat, take it up and back. Remember, we want to make an upside down V. So remember, spread your fingers, root the heels down, deepen the breath, keep your neck long, walking your heels up and down. Just a nice warm up for the body. Again, a lot of people out there are probably cold. I mean, their body's cold just from not warming up so from being warm and with yoga we just gotta allow our body to open up on its own time frame so just hang out with the practice breathe into it and then drop to your knees sit in hero's pose for just a moment we're gonna do this several times and take it back up into down dog and sink it in here deep in the breath And again, drop to your knees, sit on the heels, go to hero's pose for just a few moments. And back to a down dog. it back breathe into it remember work on getting a nice long spine bend the knees pushing back and release seeing on your heels in hero's pose from here we're going to take it to a bridge pose again most of these poses are going to be on the mat 
lying, um, even doing some recline poses. So we're going to be doing this and a couple of others. Actually, uh, we're going to take it down to the mat and we're going to do a full boat and a half boat. And so from here, we're going to interlock our fingers, tuck our shoulder blades, knees forward, deep in the breath. Neck long. And untuck the shoulders, release the fingers, bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae. Now from here, we're gonna do a half bridge. So half bridge. Palms to the floor, inhale, and as you exhale now, we're going to lift up with the hips and, and make it into more of a sliding board, not a full-blown bridge. Keep your arms to your side. Just hang out here. Here we're going to recline butter, butterfly pose and we're just going to relax here arms to your side palms up and again just relax and hang out and bring your legs together. And from here, we're gonna to roll to the side and we're gonna come up. But from here, we're gonna take it, we're gonna roll back into a shoulder stand and then we're gonna close out the class with the legs up the wall. So um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll it back and we're gonna take it up into a shoulder stand. So I'm gonna take it here. Oops, let me get my shirt in place. So there we go. And now from here, we're just gonna roll it back taking it up, tucking the shoulder blades. Now we're going to take our legs straight up and tuck it under and get the legs straight, squeeze and lengthen deep in the breath. And you're going to bend your knees. We're going to roll out. Good. Coming down. Now from here, uh, find a spot against the wall. And we're going to take it legs up the wall. Now if some people um, like to do nice long head headstands, uh, this is a good pose to do it as opposed to doing the legs up the wall. But uh, any inversion that you want to do, if you want to continue with the shoulder stand or headstand, that's cool with me. But uh, I know everybody can do legs up the wall, so you want to make sure your, your hips are up against the wall, and then you're going to rotate and take your legs up the wall so that your, your butt is against the wall. Now we're going to close out the class here. So just arms to your side, palms up, and just relax and just let go. The great thing about this is, um, again, if you're unable to do a headstand, legs up the wall, you're taking all that blood flow bringing it back into the cavity so it's a very restorative pose 
It's giving the body a break. So if you've been standing on your legs all day, this is the pose to go to for that. This is just a great pose to help you to relax and to re-energize the body through relaxing and restorative pose. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste. Namaste.